Hi, I'm Brian. I'm one of the instructors with the Computer Workshop. Today we're going to do a tutorial on how you can convert a calendar year into a fiscal year inside of a pivot table. So to begin with I have a small pivot table here. Over in my pivot table field list you can see I have a field for order date. I'm going to add that to my pivot table by simply dragging it down into my rows area and now I can see I have that information added to the pivot table. Excel will automatically group date data into a logical structure. In this case I can see the months which I can expand to see the individual days that an order was placed in that given month and then I can collapse that. We need to modify this grouping so that we include the quarters we do not necessarily require the order date. We don't need to be that granular. So to modify my grouping I am going to simply right click any of my months and access the group command from my menu. This will open the grouping window. Here I can set a starting and ending time so I could actually have this span year, a given set of years, a quarter, or even an individual month. Here below this I can now set how granular I want to see this information. In this case, as I mentioned, I don't care to see the days, so I'm going to click on the days to unselect it and click on the quarters to add that. I can add or remove things by simply clicking on them. When I'm done, I'm going to click OK and those changes have been put into play. Now you can see quarter one begins with January, but we really need quarter one to begin with July since our fiscal year will run July through June. So we're going to modify the quarters in line with our fiscal year. This is done using the find and replace command. So I can access that by using the keyboard shortcut of control H or I can simply use the home tab in the editing group my find and select drop down and click the replace option right here this will open my replace window when I'm gonna put in the find what I have to be very very sensitive to how it is written in my document so I want to be case sensitive and space sensitive. I could not put in a space between the quarter and the one because it would not match exactly. In the replace I'm going to fully spell out quarter and throw in a space and in this case quarter three is what I want to replace quarter one. So I'm ready to go ahead here and click replace although there are times where I have done this and it does not find what I need. So I'm finding that it's easier to simply click the find all, make sure that I see those in my list, and then when I click replace I'm pretty much assured that I'm going to get what I expect. To continue on we're going to change quarter two into quarter four. So I'm going to search for quarter two and I'm going to replace it with quarter four, find all, replace quarter three will become quarter one find all replace and finally quarter four will become quarter two find all and replace now that I know those are all taken care of I can simply click the close on the find and replace window now I have to organize my quarters in a logical ascending fashion and this is done with a simple sort. Now the easiest way to do this here again is to come to my quarters drop down and just choose sort oldest to newest. So now my quarters one through four are modifying my months July through June. Now order date at the top, I'm going to just change that to months and I am good to go. If you learned something or liked our video, please go ahead and subscribe. My colleagues and I will be producing new videos every week so you never know what you may encounter.